All right, well, I'm calling this the simple rolling needle motor. And uh, what's going on here, it's, it's just like the last one I showed. The uh, needle rolls around in a hole and hits the uh, wire and makes the make and break contact. And you don't have to use a reed switch or electrical circuit or anything. It's just the rolling of that needle in the hole that makes the make and break. On the bottom is a screw, steel screw that the needle runs in and then the wire for the circuit wraps around that screw and then goes back to the circuit. Uh, the LED is across the coil backwards so that when the, the break happens the magnetic field in the coil collapses and causes the LED to flash. Um, it's just a volt and a half. Uh, this is the circuit and um, I can say the needle rolls around in that hole and when it rolls around and touches the wire the coil is energized and pushes the rotor around and then the thing stops because it rolls around until the next time around and then it hits it again and uh, if you get everything just right it runs uh, the, today is the 3rd of October 2018 it's just a volt and a half on a really simple circuit uh, the, the stick is a craft stick um, that you just put about a um, eighth inch or less hole in it and you use crazy glue in the hole to make a plastic kind of bushing so that uh, the, the needle rolls around easier in the hole and it makes a bearing surface using the crazy glue. Now you can build up a structure like this but then you have to tip it around to make it work. Now using the helping hands if you've got one of these it's really easy to adjust the uh, contact scenario to make that work just right. You can actually speed it up and slow it down just by adjusting this around. And uh, that's all there is to it. It's just a simple uh, electric motor but with no reed switch, no commutator, just the uh, steel needle. And the steel needle is uh, making contact with either steel or brass screw. I'm using a steel screw here with some oil in it. And then as the steel screw hits the copper wire, the circuit is uh, connected and it causes the uh, motor to run. That's about as simple as it gets right there. Thanks for watching.